Oh, well, hello there. I'm sorry, this is the only thing I actually have that's Star Wars related. Um, it kind of sucks. After this movie, I want to buy, like, almost every, every single, like, merchandise product in the world. But, yeah, until then, we're just going to have to go with this uh, R2-D2, which he is actually in the movie. Uh, before I start this review, guys, for Star Wars The Force Awakens or Star Wars 7, I want to name you guys, this is a completely spoiler-free review. I actually have exper experienced a couple of spoilers before I watched this movie, and it kind of broke my heart. So, honestly, guys, I really do feel your pain if you have seen the, seen the thing in R2-D2. Yeah, okay, so let's get started, guys. This is probably going to be one of my biggest reviews on my channel. Like, it's going to be one of my, even, even how far my channel grow, grows and how big it becomes, this will still be the biggest review I've ever made in my life. This is the first Star Wars movie. I've grown up with Star Wars as of millions of trillions of other people that I went to go see this on opening day. Um, uh, it's directed by J.J. Abrams, stars Harrison Ford, Daisy Ridley, John Boyega, Dom Hall Gleason, Gwendolyn Christie, Adam Driver, uh, Oscar Isaac. Dude, there's so many actors. Uh, Kevin, Kenny, Baker, Andy Serkis, um, oh, I didn't know that actually Andy Serkis was Supreme Leader Snoke. Okay, Mark Hamill, Luke Skywalker, and uh, yeah, let's get started with the review right away. Let's get started with, is it a good movie, and what are its flaws? This is a very good movie. It is an amazing, amazing movie. It is not like, well, you know what? No, it is. You know what? Fuck it. This is a very good movie. It is a Star Wars movie, and I, I was never, ever, ever disapproved by this movie at all. So when I first saw the trailer for this film, I said, this movie looks, this movie looks really cool. Now, this is kind of answering, uh, Sebastian, are you a fanboy? Now, I saw the trailer, so I, I was like, it looks pretty cool, but I have a feeling that there's a possibility that it could do bad. And then I saw the first critic reviews, 95%, and it has not went down at all. And I was like, fuck yeah, finally, we get the revival of this film that's better than ever. I'm not sure if this is one of the... I'm not sure if it, this is the best film in the trilogy or the saga, but it definitely is one of the. This movie is so fucking good. I'm used, I'm dropping the F-bomb because it, it is extremely um, reliant in this movie. So let's just start with the cast. John Boyega plays Finn. Daisy Ridley plays Rey. They're the main characters in this movie. Uh, the characters come on come along through Midway are Harrison Ford and uh, Chewbacca, which is Peter, what's his name? Forget about him. Uh, <laughs> and then, yeah, you know, the, basically John Boyega is from the First first Order Stormtroopers, and he um, he wants to escape the First Order because he feels like what he's doing to the people is not right at all. So basically, he finds Daisy, like I said, no spoilers, so I won't say anything about it. He finds, he finds Daisy, and he finds out that there's a droid that actually has a BB-8 that has a little uh, microchip or something like that that, like can portray a map of where Luke Skywalker is. And he vanished, and supposedly, I think that Luke Skywalker, like, I don't really know yet. Um, like, when I first saw this movie, I, like, when I first saw, the, first saw The First Awakens, I'm not sure if he meant to go away or if he was just stolen. So you have to see, like, the beginning of the movie, and it explains, like, everything to you, like, through, like, the credits, you know, like, the, the storyline, like, you know. And I'll tell you, man, when I walked to the movie theater, there was a long wait. And then suddenly we, we were... Suddenly the credits start, man, and I literally got so much goosebumps, and everybody was clapping. Well, woohoo, you know, everybody was so happy because of this film. And let me tell you guys, I don't care if you don't like Star Wars, just going to a movie theater when the new Star Wars is out, it's such an experience. You never guys get to get to see a movie where people continuously crap clap at certain moments during the movie. You never get to see that with other movies. Nightcrawler in theaters, like, I mean, like, I'm not trying to think, Nicola was an amazing movie, amazing, and there's so many other good movies out there, but Star Wars is the first movie I've ever seen in theaters that people actually clap at through multiple times in the movie theater, that is because there's sev there's a lot of references, like I said, I will not be putting any spoilers, so there's several references in this movie, there's tons of it, and it really just heartbreaking, heartwarming, kind of sad, very happy, and I just, I love this movie, because it totally brings back everything that I've ever wanted in this trilogy, and I'm so happy, um, Let's get started with the uh, Kylo Ren, which plays by Adam Driver. Some people said it that um, they did not like him. Some people said that they like him. I actually really liked Kylo Ren in this movie. I thought that the character, like you know, Adam Driver, was very good as Kylo Ren, and I really like him as a villain. I really do. Um, I actually kind of like him a little bit better than Darth Vader in a way. In a way, there's ways that I like Darth Vader better, and there's ways that I like Kylo Ren better. But I think Kylo Ren is a very likable, not really likable, but I don't know, you get to kind of like him, you know, in a per certain point in the story, and then something happens, you're just like, fuck you, 
But um, I won't be saying anything about that. So, so um, Oscar Isaac plays Poe Dyerman. Um, oh yeah, I, and I'll sorry about this. Um, some people said that Kylo Ren was not really sure in the movie. That's not really true because I feel like if they wouldn't, if they would have went more in depth with his character, they could have might have screwed something up. So I'm happy that they kept it nice and balanced. Not too bad, not too good, just the right size, and it's great. That's that's what she said. Um, Oscar Isaac plays Poe Dameron or Dyerman or Dameron, and he is a very likable character in this story. I really did enjoy him. It is a very easing. Kind of like that one guy that's very chill, you know, he's like the badass in a way. Um, he always knows what he's doing. And uh, yeah, you know, he's a very likable guy. And I loved every single part of Oscar Isaac as well. Okay, let's talk about Captain Phasma, which is played by Gwendolyn Christie. She's most known for her roles in Game of Thrones. Um, who is Brienne or Brain of... Oh, I keep forgetting her name. Brienne of Tarth. She's from, she's from Game of Thrones, if you guys... If you guys I like that. If you guys ask me if I like if I watch Game of Thrones, um, I do like Game of Thrones, but I think that the, the current season was really like so fucking stretched. Okay, so um, Gwendolyn Christie plays Captain Phasma. If you don't know who Captain Phasma is, it's basically the the caped stormtrooper that is that's in silver. That's all you have to know because Captain Phasma, in a way, was kind of a disappointment. I honestly did not mind too much, but I really could do think they could have done more with the character. In this movie, it was so obvious that they wanted to be very careful. And even though this movie went really like out of its way in some scenes and it really brought like really good, awesome spectacle to the audience, you can tell that it really was kind of careful through the whole entire film, which is not a problem at all because you really don't notice it too much to complain about it. But there's certain certain parts in the movie where like, yeah, they really did not want to do much with this. I mean, not not much, but they, they really did not want to like oversell this at all. It was really funny. But yeah, guys, um, Captain Phasma did not deliver too much, but she delivered just the right amount to make me happy. I I didn't I didn't have any I didn't have any problem with her. I think it's a good starting role for this Game of Thrones actor. And yeah, I really do. I didn't really have too much of a problem with her. I feel like she could have been a more uh, kind of a boss character in the game or in the movie. I'm sorry, maybe like they had like a boss scene or something like that. If it could have had something like that. Um, but yeah, all those questions were answered in the movie, and I don't really know. Okay, and then now we have Dom Hall Gleason, which is best known for his... Well, his first film was like Ex Machina. He was very good in that movie. And I've seen him in like Frank, all these movies. He's a very good actor. And he was General Hux. Um, basically, to describe his character, he's, he's just one of the Imperial comrades who just, you know, goes like this back and forth. You know, sitting next to Darth Vader or in Kylo Ren in this movie. He's just like, we'll catch, we'll catch them. We'll catch them. We'll catch him, Kylo Ren. We'll catch him for you. But he's kind of a... People said that, you know, like, yeah, sure, he was just one of those characters. But, I mean, yeah, he was one of those characters, guys. But he did have some really cool acting scenes, like when he was shouting in front of a whole March crowd. Um, that was, you know, good acting, and he really kind of committed to this role, even though he didn't have that big of it. And he was shown in plenty of the film, in plenty of the mo in plenty of, of the scenes, sorry. But, yeah, I mean, he really did show a good performance, and I'm not displeased in anything for that. Okay, next we have is, uh, let's go more in depth with the two main characters, Joy Boyega, who plays Finn. And Daisy Ridley, who plays Ray. Let's start with Daisy Ridley because she's basically the main character in this movie. She is very good actor. She really did really show really compelling scenes. She kind of really had a really good um, kind of emotion of wonder, and you really kind of felt it with her. And that's what I really liked about this about this actor. Um, and I feel she, I feel she was very dedicated to this role. She would definitely have more roles in the future, you guys. This is not the end of this Daisy Ridley. You will see much more from her. Same with John Boyega. Let's talk about him right now. Very good actor. I honestly think he was one of the best actors in the whole movie. He was very good performance. And this guy is a very, very good actor. And I cannot wait to see more movies with this guy in it. Um, let's go Let's go to Harrison Ford and Chewbacca. Uh, not much to say about Chewbacca, but other than Chewbacca's a badass. And I'm not just saying that because, oh, he's Chewbacca. He, he had some scenes in the movie where he was just badass. And not like badass, like like a cool like catchphrase or some shit like that. Because he can't really, like, he talks, but I can't understand him. But... Like, he was very good in this movie, uh, Harrison Ford. Harrison Ford did really good idea, really good um, idea of Han Solo and kind of re recreating the character to what he is right now. Um, but yeah, you know, I, I really liked Han Solo in this movie. Um, and yeah, I'll have more information about Han Solo in my spoiler spoiler review, on my spoiler review, because I want to make one of these for this, you know, it's just, a, it's just such a special kind of thing. I really want to do it. Okay, so guys, the next uh, person is, let's talk more about... Um, I already talked about Adam Driver, but I can't mention him anymore. I love Adam Driver in this movie. I thought he was a very good actor. 
And uh, I, I know people that are saying like, where's this guy, man? This guy's a really good actor. Okay. Let's talk about, um, yeah, uh, Chewbacca was doing this movie. You know, he's pretty good in this movie. You could tell that the guy's getting older. He's like in his 70s and his, his it's kind of funny. He's kind of sad. His movements, like you could see in the movie, like my, my dad also said, he like, Chewbacca's movements were kind of like stiff, you know, and I guess he could because he's 70 years old. He can't really move around as much as he used to in Chewbacca, in Chewbacca, in this, and uh, the older Star Wars, which is, he was only in the New Hope and the Empire Strikes Back, I think. But yeah, okay, and now let's talk about Mark Hamill. Mark Hamill. Uh, who's Mark Hamill? He is Luke Skywalker. I'm not going to say anything because if, if I said something about this character, it'd be a huge spoiler. You'll ask me this. Is he in the movie? Yes and no. That's for you to that, that's for you to think about. He's in the movie, yes, he's in the movie, and no. Think about that. Watch the movie and you'll understand exactly what I mean, okay? He's in the movie, but he's not. But he's on the movie, but he is. I'm going all inception style on your ass. Um <laughs> But yeah, okay, so let's talk about the plot, basically. The plot, basically, is, you know, the bad guys, the good guys. Is, you know, it's not too cliche of a plot. It's a very interesting plot and everything. It's your Star Wars movie. It's nothing like a brilliant plot, like a mastermind plot. It's a Star Wars plot, but it brings and delivers such goodness to us that we can't just help and stare at it. The action scenes in this movie are top-notch. Everything is good in this movie. Very intriguing plot. Never had me bored. It had the very, with the fadeaway shots and all the things, very Star Wars like. They had tons of references from the old movies in this, in the, from the old movies in this film. And that, I remember every single time, like I said, this is the one movie you go to where people clap during the references. It was just, oh my god, it was so good. Um, but yeah, okay, so I am going to give a Star Wars. Seven or Star Wars VII, The Force Awakens, a five out of five stars or a ten out of ten. Yeah, I love Star Wars. There was I did not even see any flaw with this movie, and if there was a flaw, and I did know in my mind right now, it's not big enough to mention, and it's really not worth it to, you know, go and intertwine with my rating. Guys, The Force Awakens is a movie you need to see. I mean, honestly, it's kind of weird to write a review about this. You kind of just look at the reviews to see what other people think about it because you're going to go see it anyway. You have to see this movie. I don't care if you hate Star Wars. You're going to see it. No, I'm getting your ass out of your house and you're going to see that movie. Yes, you are. I'm telling you, you're going to see that movie. So, yeah, um, this gets a 95% of our tomatoes and 93%. So, let me, I'm going to just end a video here, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Please go check out my trailer reviews. It's kind of lacking on views right now. Please get, please get, go get, go give that video some support. Um, if you like, if you're just new to my channel, welcome. And I do a lot of Blu-ray vlogs, movie reviews, and a lot. I do a lot of Blu-ray, Blu-ray vlogs as well. I have a couple on my channel right now. Go check them out for Black Friday, and there's like a couple weeks of them doing it. But yeah, guys, that's all for the video, guys, today. And uh, if you guys like this video, of course, please comment what you found about Star Wars. Please follow me on Instagram, Sebastian underscore Movies. My website will be down below. And you guys. Have a Force Friday.